Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Snowy123 and his uh, Norse, that's what they're called, and Halligun and his High Elves, I assume they're both he's. Um, in the booth with me is Kalon and Fymir. Hello. 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 Oh, what a beginning. Yeah, indeed. Armor 7 proving it's Armor 7 straight away from the get-go. Beautiful. Love uh, to see so Norse getting armor broken. <laughs> you do, don't you? <laughs> uh, so, fairly nice uh, high elf team. Has a couple of green stats. Uh, not very many red, which is always good. Uh, not a huge amount of extras of doubles or anything, though. I don't think. I think he's got a mighty blow catcher and uh, one guard. Two guard. So, mm. not terrible. Mm. And the Norse are pretty uh, average. Yeah, the, the, the Norse are pretty crap. And the, mm -hmm. the elves are fine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the Norse induce a loner with a dirty player. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. And a whiz. Uh, did he take a bribe as well, Jim? If you don't mind nice co commentators that. you got there. Yes, Where they did you get them? Indeed. In the yeah, awesomely cool. hilarious co commentators. So, bribe shop. DP and whiz Cheers. is all pretty good. And yeah. uh, the elves showing their complete disdain for any of the seriousness of the situation. By uh, getting a cheap vanity pass off. Of course, how could you not? And uh, indeed, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, Nicholson BB, with a hundred bits, glorious and and very complimentary to the hilarious, awesomely hilarious core commentators. Glorious. Well, hey, hey. Oh, that's really nice. Hey. Thanks so much. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, shut up, Volk. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, he just said there's nothing wrong with playing hundreds of games with Norse. Ooh, there's ooh. everything wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, uh, Volfigor put did put in some hours in playing uh, in playing his Norse. Uh, in fact, when I started watching Blood Bowl on Twitch, uh, I just assumed that's all he played. What an absolute scumbag! Yeah, Everybody no. has a past. Yeah, indeed. A horrible past. Yeah, he used to, he used to be he used to be a disgusting Norse lover, but now he's mm -hmm. now he's a good for goal. Yeah. So he plays a lizard tonight, right? Well, hey, hey. no, he's you know Volker's good, isn't he? The uh, number one ranked uh, smiling player in fumble as well. I don't know. He's, and in he's, and in, and in Naf, yeah. He's Andorra, isn't he? He's the number one Andorra and all that. Yep. We, there is another Andorin that we know, but we can never see him because he's always uh, sniping from the bushes. Yep. Oh, so, good, uh, lad, good lad. Reformed character, that's always nice to see. Yeah. Ooh, uh, shouldn't this wrestler have gone up here to, to, to protect the good men? I would have liked that. I, don't uh, this guy I, I, I too would have, yeah. It was a strange blitz to come in and just, I suppose he went straight for the guard, but it's a, it's a just, I mean, it was a frenzy hit, so you're just relying on frenzy doing all of the work for you, but uh, he's trying to take down a blodge guarder. Oh, no, he doesn't have block, that guy. Oh, that's actually entirely fair. <laughs> the uh, catcher not having block makes that blitz choice by Snowy a lot more um, understandable. Oof. You went stupid. Well, not stupid, yep. rolled. That was the release. Wow. Yeah, pretty rough. I deserve though, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but uh, sorry, but yes. If that was the blitz, yep. you deserve to fail. What the hell are you doing yep. blitzing with the? <laughs> yeah, especially after bringing all the other guys back and stuff, it all seemed a little odd. Um, yes. But yeah, I do. I, I do rescind my. What was a strange thing to hit? Because the, the, the initial blitz didn't make sense to me, but it does now. Mm. Um, Glorious mighty blow on armor seven. Yeah, pretty tasty. Does not manage to keep, keep him safe as well. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. This is hard. Well, we've had our... all these guys. Though. I hate, like, I hate having to expose the strength four one without block. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Well, neither did the guys on that side have block, which is, yeah. you know, worrisome. Yeah, out of out of nail that strength four guy. He's got it. He's got to nail him this turn. Yeah. He has to. No, nope, he's just gonna blitz with the yeah, you go. Okay. Well, it does get a three off, three dice off on this guy, and no, nothing doing. Uh, I just realised that. Oh, he does. Yeah, cool. I think he has jugs. Yeah, cool. Jugs and guard, which yeah, okay, helps a little having it there. Yeah, especially when you have none elsewhere. Uh, just the one Ulf with guard as well. 
So, and he wasn't lucky to get any uh, guard on his runners or his linemen. And uh, despite having five um, players with strength access on the Norse team, uh, none of them take guard until like the third skill. Well, he's got loads of linemen, hasn't he? No, no, this he isn't does. one with loads of linemen. There was one that just had like all linemen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the Stores that, team. Uh, is that Stores? Yeah. That's the yeah. Stores, yes. I mean, I mean, disgusting team, disgusting yeah. uh, race, <laughs> disgusting coach. He is, uh -huh. yep, indeed. Yep. Exactly, Doug the Dog. I had piling on my yeti. Like, if you're mm -hmm. going to make a stupid, idiotic player, then, then make yeah, it stupid and idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> Did he not stand his, um, sorry, behind the player cards there on the right-hand side? Did he just not, oh, there's the first injury. Oh, he Did he not stand the, uh, he, he yeah. Dodged him. He dodged oh, he him. dodged him off. Cool, cool, blitz cool. with him because yeah. your option is to blitz with him and get him back in the game. I like try and dodge yeah, him or leave try him down. Try him off. It's yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, quite well as we get into this fight, though, uh, the... Elves are. Yeah. Uh, Bizarre non dackering person. Yeah. Hell's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you. Yeah. Getting into a fight, not even bringing the ball up. I suppose he has it on like the best thrower in the game, so, you know, that guy can just throw it anywhere. Doesn't like a bit of a passing game. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's reasonable though because you can hope to outbash a, a, a Norse team. Like, yeah. This isn't a bashy Norse team, is it? It's like no. a mighty blow, a mighty blow, yeah. and, uh, and he's got a mighty blow, but it blitz back anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. So he finally gets his hit off here again with the dodge. Well, uh, when he wasn't in the tackle zone, when he wasn't well, in the tackle zone, and didn't have to, then he chooses yeah. to blitz with him. Really yeah. weird. Yeah. And he had another square movement left as well. Uh, which would have allowed him even just a little bit of pressure somewhere would have been good. Um, okay. Yeah, no, he was happy where he was. Still out of range. Lovely punch. Well, yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Everybody I, knows that the most dangerous high elves are the ones without mighty blow. Yes, <laughs> it, it is known. It's weird to see a, a Norse team with this few, this w lack of tackle, though. Uh, yeah. Considering any of your linemen, uh, well, I mean, you obviously Ooh. take. Oh, it's got a distinct lack of yeti now. <laughs> yes, oh, and Apo works. does work, but gone on the yeti. Uh, wow, why he bloated the thing <laughs> there on that armor race? You know, <laughs> straight twelve. Doing... It's you need to have well, casual yeah. says, you know, that's a proper, that's a proper uh, roll. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so vicious. That's brilliant. Yeah, he did. He deserved it. Yeah, he deserved it for trying to blitz in the first in turn two. Yeah. He had it coming. I'm not sure, Ollie, Bolly, Nolly, that uh, there will be a next round for these uh, knots. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, how much is the Yeti to hire in with um, with Mighty Blow? Uh, you never get a chance to be the underdog because you're Norse and everything's ridiculously expensive. So <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, I don't know about 140, aren't they? So 140 and 220, yeah. Ish. Yeah. I don't know exactly how much they cost because I don't give a shit. Oh, sure. there's a foul. Mm, that is, that is a, that's an annoying one as well. So just yeah, a badly hurt. Yeah, yeah, eat the badly hurt, don't you? Yeah. It is on a guard that he really wanted to get a uh, block on. Yes. But uh, yeah, you got to take it. Because there's just, just much better players. So after clearing up quite a chunk of this, but he is going to have to start moving forward now. Uh, and it looks like the target is going to be the Norse runner. The runner, yeah. This is a one dice. Someone made a mistake. Yeah, that's really odd. Um, really, really odd. Someone made a big mistake there. Yeah. So just kind of spreading out now, and um, not even moving after making that blitz as well means that those guys are kind of tied down there. Is that particularly safe? Well, yeah, he's not got no guard, and he's got guard on one side of him as well. But uh, a bit toing and froing, and a bit kind of all over the place. This is and fine. His elves are MA9. 
Yeah. Uh, didn't want to roll that level one I did on this page. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> But yeah, it does have to take that threat seriously because, uh, I mean, he can just hook it at him and score. Um, I suppose ideally you want to get the ball into the guy's hand and score straight away anyway as well because uh, you don't want to have to have the wizard there. But uh, yeah, this was always going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, and didn't go anywhere for the elf or for the Norse. And he's not worried about the scoring threat at all. Well, why even try to defend? Why? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, mean North, does, right? he, does he yeah. know he's turn six? <laughs> this is going to be turn seven for the elves. Yeah. I mean, is it terrible for the elves to go over on turn seven? Not in the match of a brawl and try to score in turn seven. Hmm. I just realized he was punching with Wrestle there and realized it was probably going to be a death. Wrestle being the killiest of skills. <laughs> He's happy to trade that guy off. Oh, here we go. And, We're yep. doing something. How exciting. So pass to the edge four, edge five. And then a walk over to hand the ball off. Yeah, and he's going to score, score to avoid the wizard. To avoid the wizard, yeah. Yep. Ha! It's almost like we saw that happening last turn. Yeah, almost like who, that. Who, yeah. Yeah. who could have uh, seen the play? It was yeah, impossible right. to see. Yeah. <laughs> you won't see this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good job he had that throw with like two, you know, the pass and the accurate to be able to roll that two plus. The two plus, yeah. Yep. Yeah, but I uh, had a reroll for it though, so. Four. Yeah. And yeah, accurate. Just so good. Still scoring threat, yeah, he was invincible that day. So yeah, it just does the the rather yep. boring um, things. I, I don't like this setup in terms of I I like obviously the side steps on the edge because the way to yep. this is to go down the edge. So, Indeed. You know, you definitely should have other side steppers. And then also you want your valuable players here, counterintuitively, because this is the like worst person to hit at all. Like these right, two, right. two that you never ever want to blitz. Because it's just not doing anything for you. Because it like, doesn't give you any yeah. forward momentum, yeah. Yeah, if you blitz these you can come through here and if you blitz them you mm -hmm. go around the side and it, so they're the ones that you can't blitz. So he should have absolutely put his best players there. Um Super but then, interesting. there was a riot anyway, so actually maybe mm -hmm. hit them. <laughs> Wow. Wait, there was a riot, but they didn't. Oh, they lost a turn. Oh, wow. Well. They lost Rip. a turn, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Rip. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. And the Yeti. There you go. And there was a nice back. explanation about the setup. So, you want to see more about it, go to Jimmy's channel in YouTube, where he has a, a lot of videos about setups. Yes, glorious. There you go. He sure does. Yeah, those setup videos are absolutely fantastic. I was sharing them on all of my socials, as should all of you. Glorious, thanks very much. I didn't really, I was just saying it for the YouTube. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I did actually share them and I uh, shared them in, our, in the Irish Discord, so there's all the lads went and stuff. Thanks. Yeah. Ooh. Cool, does get the hit here as well. Oh, uh, nothing yeah. doing, but. Two uh, two KOs isn't uh, isn't nothing, and uh, he's just going to run down to show him what he. Here's what you could have won if you yeah. had an extra turn. Yeah, this is what I would have done. Look. Yeah. Yes, yes. This would have been in here. Play, the classic play that people uh, think we were kids, you know, or teenagers mm -hmm. or Just stay you out one more square. I only need one more square to score. <laughs> he's even oh. in the GFI. Oh. Imagine he dies. Oh. Imagine he dies. Or die. Oh, I would have oh, wow. loved it if it died. Back corner wide open, he has to make the GFI here as well. He does not at all need to do any of this. <laughs> okay, okay, does he know that it's turn 8? I do not believe he does know that it's turn I 8. I think this person has gone full yeah. north and doesn't recognize numbers anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, two dice, two dice. It doesn't matter if they're red or white, right? Exactly, I feel like that, yeah. you know, because didn't uh, worry about the obvious scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, ah, that's all right. Yeah. And and then did that, you know, they were like, what are you doing, man? 
Carry on! <laughs> Completing yeah. the turn with his best efforts. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ma maximum effort for the Norse. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. Yep. Carry on! Uh, no change in setup is always... Uh, I don't know. Was it that perfect the last time, if he managed to break through? I, so, think, I think this is better for a normal drive than it was for the quick drive last time. Yeah. Basically. I didn't, I didn't like it as much last time, but now I guess he's got some better players protected. Mm -hmm. I would still protect the catcher over the guard. Uh, yep. I mean, it's almost play for play, right? Yeah. Well, Going for the uh, blitz there instead, because uh, that is where the thrower is. Yep. Realizing what a what a threat he is. A blockless go block. Well, no, he, you know, blockless victim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a critical lack of Norsing. This is a very unnorse like Norse game, isn't it? A KO on a isn't it? Yeah. Time. Oh, sure hands fail as well. The, the Yeti already died once. That's very Norse. Yeah. That is quite Norse. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he's going to hit him with the Prince 4. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why he didn't uh, hit him diagonally. Uh, to keep him uh, Yeah, indeed. Just kind of left him open there as well. Um. Hmm. Because that strength four is strength four, but does not have any uh, block. And he needs some friends down there because he really uh, does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's going to dodge if I attack the ball. And he fails. Oh, and he fails it. Yeah. I think there was some movement left there, Jim, as well, right? He could have done some other stuff, unless he was planning on GFIing everybody else he hadn't moved yet. Yeah, but, maybe. There's, maybe this guy mm, could have GFI. That guy could definitely have... Uh, okay. Oh, look. He's still in range. Yeah, I think... I mean, I, I, I don't know. Probably just a... And the catcher survives. <laughs> He's got another, another two coming in, and he survives. Uh, survives again. <laughs> oh, my God. Like... Okay, a little bit safer this time. Is he going to try to base up the um, other guys that are coming in? Oh, he's going to shove the... No. Well, he's unmolested now, isn't he? So he can just drop everyone back here. Uh, Yeah, but uh, like... Okay, so he can make it into the cage now. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah Norse not banging is a, is a tragic sight, isn't it, for them? Hmm. <laughs> Mighty blow. There you go. I knew that moving that much squares to hit <laughs> was going to be good. full run up, yeah. Yes, yeah. full like run up, you know. Yeah, All like, the momentum. Again, like the punching machines in pubs. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Again, with the lack of movement after the punch, like he could have stepped behind the wrestler. Mm. Clearly bait for the jetty. Yeah. Well,. Yeah, but I mean, you know, pretty, good, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good bait, like. Yeah. Oh, and he fails, fails the dodge on the strength Oof. four. Oh, he couldn't get down with the black might. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! That is very rowdy. That is. That's rowdy. really rowdy. That's really rowdy because that player is not that good in the biggest scheme of things. No, and he's is just he like. Well, I mean, you have to foul. Yeah, you blitz that guy, and then you foul the strength four, right? I don't know that you have to fall. What part of well, Blitz with the Yeti didn't you get? Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he yeah, he is, isn't he? He's just going to make this pretty deep. I'd have definitely blitzed this line and moved up to here. Yeah, I'd have blitzed it down blind. I'll take all of the space up there. If you're not going to take the space, then I would definitely have felt that strength for. Like, 100%. Pushes in two. Pushes. Who would have wow. said, I mean, uh, he needed a power in six dice. Yeah. yeah. What a surprise that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. 
Oh, not even going for the mighty blow hit. Just gonna get him off uh, this way. Absolute, That's a wrestle hit. Absolute disrespect there. Yeah. yeah I'm bamboozled by that. I am pretty bamboozled in general, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't... I don't understand why you wouldn't just punch and then blitz yeah. later if you wanted to. Yeah. Especially when you're leaving yourself in base contact here as well. So you'll just stand and punch him. He wants to make you blow the AV7. Yeah. But, you know, mighty blow the AV-8 and kill it and, uh, you know, yeah. don't get blitzed back by a big Yeti who, the best way of him getting back into the game is getting the Yeti back into the game is to blitz that guy. This is Are still not... open? Is it is, yep. yep. Okay, now, now he's doing the... The right one. Yep. Helpful armor break. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of space to be able to take there. It is a big chunk, yeah. Um, can't get guard on anywhere but the back corner here, so... It does have... Well, the edge 5 is on the floor because it blitzed the Yeti. But it would have been a nice guy to have... Um, yeah. So he doesn't really, he doesn't really need any, uh, any no. fancy... Guard or uh, what's it called? Venger bus kind of cage. Does he? he can just he can happily exit and uh, uh, yeah. For the rest. He sidestep as well, yeah. and strip and strip doesn't work on him. But still, he, he can get he can get uphill. Does he have tackled the uh, edge five? He's on the ground there in front of the yeti. If you don't mind clicking on him. Um, no, he's got edge wrestle strip. Right, cool, yeah, so no tackle. Pretty pretty useless. Mm hmm Yeah, try it's pretty, but it, it's pretty mad. But look, if you hit him if you hit him with mighty blow, you'll cast him out and then you're pretty happy, right? Yeah. Well, it seems yep. uh, mighty blow did a thing. It did well, it, it didn't actually, but <laughs> he didn't it need did. it. It did. Oh it did, did. it broke the did. armor. He did, yeah. he did it for the armor. Yeah. Also the icon of Mighty Blow appeared over the player. Mm. Mm hmm. The message. It didn't uh, pop up in the um, in the dice log, so it was. You've got the simplified version. Of. Well, I would have just punched and then used my blitz somewhere else. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, God. Like everyone's saying, oh, "Don't, don't mighty blow the yeti." Plus, I think you've won this. Why game would you anyway. not mighty blow the yeti? Yeah, yeah I would have mighty blow the yeti. Okay. Yeah. I like yes. mighty blow the yeti. Yeah. Yes, he was much better player than some random Lino with Armor 7, which was the other target. Yeah, exactly. And now that he's gone, he's missing a huge amount of strength. Because the Norse have no guard. Well, mm -hmm. one guard. But, you know. So what? Uh. Um, that's a strange push square. Mm, I thought it was fine. Um, oh, yeah, okay, okay, sorry. I thought he'd after. I thought he was after blocking his way through the center, but he wasn't able to get through anyway because of the blitz up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Wolfpark. Yeah, if if, if the yeti had blocked, then by all means, blitz it with wrestle. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a bit sure. Yeah, we're going to call. Yeah, but you have the two dice versus uh, you know the yeti. Does it have mm -hmm. block? Does it have dodge? That's seventy-five percent of uh, getting him down. If there's anybody oh, no, nice. who, sorry, if there's anybody who doesn't think the A is a bit shit versus elves, obviously it's a bit shit versus elves because it's got wild animal, which is horrendous against elves because people they just the elves just dodge away, and then half yeah. of the time it's got a stand and roar or it dictates your blitz, and it's just it's just obviously terrible, isn't it? They've all yeah, they've often got sidestep, which makes the frenzy worse and stuff. So like yeah, it's it's terrible. And they're often armor seven, which makes the claw worse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just it's just bad against elves. Big, uh, big KO there from the uh, Edge 5, so maybe he actually knew more about his team than we did, that the Edge 5 is actually the guy who gets all the KOs. <laughs> That's why he used him on the Eddie earlier in the game. Yeah. So he's got him pretty well uh, mixed in here. Mm. Do you think he needs some more attention put in on them? Yeah. Well, that bring the Mighty Blower in to the top, yeah. Side step, diving tackle on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty tasty. And just holding everybody else back. Yeah. yeah 
This looks horrendous for the Norse. It really does, yeah. This is a, this is a nightmare situation for Snowy Dude. Oh, he's got the wisdom. And wiz, does have the whiz to get that guy out of the way, and then he's going to see if he can blitz himself through. Um, can. He can, yeah. Is he in range still? Oh, no. Uh, no, he's just resetting. Can he bring enough guys out? If he's, so. <laughs> if he's lucky. If he's lucky. Got that dodge there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, Not if he right. fouls him to death, try. <laughs> so he shouldn't have stacked that. What he should have done was... Oh, wow. He should have done the dodge, and then if he used the reroll... Yeah, then you the just foul. gone for the foul, yeah. Well, with this guy, he was going to make the cage corner. Mm-hmm. And then this... But if you'd made it without rerolls, then you, then you do the cage corner, and then you dodge out with that guy to foul. Yep. Nice cage, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit cage <laughs> shot. <laughs> I wouldn't go for the ball, I would just go for... I would just mighty blow that guy, I don't know why he wrestled him. I'd just mighty blow that berserker and then face the ball with... Face you know, the ball with the, the DT, yeah. Uh, there comes the side step diving tackle again. Yeah, it's good enough, isn't it? Electric boogaloo. <laughs> just joking, man, so, on top gear. Is a GFI, yeah. So there's mm. another another reason why you hit the jetty. Everybody knows that if you break the armor of the jetty, it's an instant cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jetty's never remain on the pitch face down. <laughs> and and plus, like you, you're playing against uh, you're playing against a Norse wow. coach, right? So you know their uh, their mental fragility around their their yeti getting hurt is something you've got to factor into, right? For sure. Yeah. It's like a People who play um, cow chorfs. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh, because he's going to come back in after the red dice. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Cool. Yep. He still has his blitz out. Well, that's not good enough. Ooh. And nowhere to go, so he just doesn't. Yep. He might be in a bit. Of, it might be in a bit of a pickle here. Bit of a pickle. Yes, Frenzy is a bit rubbish, isn't it, a lot of the time? Yeah, it can be, can't it? Yep. And now I think there is a chance of a hit on the ball. I think they could uh, be on the ball, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe, sh maybe. I'm not uh, sure. I'm not sure. Oh my god, oh, there he it saw is. it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he saw the play, guys. <laughs> he did. Yep. You get the old bobble here. Hmm. So many like L's around. Plenty of catchers around, yep. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Bing. It was uh, inevitable, inevitable. It was inevitable. <laughs> inevitable. <laughs> when the and elf bullshit starts, it only ends with a touchdown. Nothing you and, can do. Uh, there goes his uh, strength four, legging it away so that he's in scoring range. Yep. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then just take this extra hit. Yeah, Tom is. I don't know why uh, why Snowy didn't just simply base 9 to 10 players every turn and then the elves wouldn't be able to roll 2 pluses and they would inevitably I mean, lose. That's how that's how it works, right? Mm. I mean, really, they just need to be rebalanced because there's just no way you could play them. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah if, you don't, if you're not aware uh, of what this is about, the, the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, if you're not a member of that, oh. you're missing out on some great knowledge from the... Uh, Legendary yeah. Blood Bowl player <clears throat> TS5W or somebody who's allegedly played thousands and thousands of games of Blood Bowl. And he knows. He has, yeah. He's just never lost to elves because they're terrible. Yeah, they're elves are terrible. Like, you just never. you just base them with dwarfs and then, you know, what's the problem? Yeah. Like, never. I don't never. <clears throat> Probably. I 100% believe that yeah. person. <laughs> <laughs> he's played several games against elves. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably, yeah. I don't and know then, if this passed. And, and, and then he said that uh, the RNG was broken in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, there you Casual go. double JFI to finish it off. And uh, yeah. 
this will be the point in other people's stream where they went, oh, what a load of elf bullshit. <laughs> yep. And because they rolled a couple of twos. Is it? Well, there you go. It is indeed. Yeah. So that was a game of Blood Bowl we watched right there. It was a game of Blood Bowl we watched. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Yes. More armor breaks for the elves than the Norse. So... Glorious. Yeah. Glorious. Good old AV7 being AV7. Yeah, so uh, congratulations to whoever the hell the uh, the, the elf coach was. <laughs> Wellion. I think Halligan? his name was Wellion or something like that. Yeah, Halligan. And then the Leon. Or... And then uh, commiseration Snowy123. Yeah, that's the one R5TW, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much, Fymir and Kaelon. Glorious of you again. It was a pleasure. As always, a pleasure to be here. Oh, thank you so much, guys. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>